and um, I am a four star qualifying um, 2020 premier coach. So I am going to focus today, you guys, first and foremost, if you are not staying, if this is your first power hour, I am so excited to have you here and I'm blessed to have you here. Second off, if you guys are not staying in the recruiting phase, no matter where you're at in your business, you need to get back to the recruiting phase. Um, I've never stopped recruiting. I'll never stop recruiting. And maybe that's just the recruiter inside of me, but I was a corporate recruiter prior to coming into coaching. And if you're not consistently building and growing and actively inviting to the business and to your challenge groups, there's going to come a point in the time where your business is going to die off. And so I want you guys, when we jump into this power hour, to focus on that. Okay, we're going to start first and foremost with this. You guys, if you want this business, you will find the time for this business. If you don't want it, you're gonna find an excuse for it. And I say that because I've been in a position where that I dabbled in this business. And I've been in a position where this business just was not, um, you know, it, I, I didn't wanna go all in. But now this is a passion of mine. And I wake up every single day with my goals and my why, so if you don't have your why and your goals written somewhere where you can see them every single day, do it and focus on it every single day. So when you're waking up and you don't want to be there and you don't want to show up, you look at your why and you look at your goals and you know that this is why you're showing up. Okay. So we're going to get started. I'm going to share my screen. We're going to do a pretty simple um, power hour today, guys. It's not going to be anything outrageous and I'm totally okay with that because I think if you keep it simple and I'm gonna start from the back end of this okay so for the first 10 minutes I want you to go through and see what you're saying go audit your Facebook feed um, would you follow up with you are you you know are your pictures well lit the one thing that I focus on my coaches right now first and foremost in their business because I struggled in the beginning was really understanding like people like to see bright airy photos if you're on Instagram right they don't want to see something super super dark and where they can't tell what the picture is okay what do you need to share today to let your people know that you are open for business your Instagram, your social media, your stories, your Facebook, y'all, it is your storefront, right? So you want your storefront to be open and inviting, not shut off. And you want to know that you have a call to action in every post, okay? Every single post, whether it's on your stories, you want a call to action every single day. Whether it's in a post, be inviting and let people know. Today's Tuesday, Transformation Tuesday, Tasty Tuesday, Taco Tuesday. Engage. What kind of tacos do you like? Soft shell, hard shell, things like that. So people know that you were trying and you're wanting to get to know them. Okay. So in your stories, problem, solution, invite model. What's your problem? How are we going to solve it? And how can you invite to the opportunity? Line up your posts with stories, you guys, right? So you, if you're doing a coaching post today in your stories, a coaching invite, line up your post today to go why coaching is important, right? Why is um, the community important? And then create it like that. You want to engage and make sure your stories are a variety. The more followers you get, I feel, the more you've earned your right to talk a little bit more on there, but you don't want it to be 30 different slides of talking. You just don't, okay? So for the next 10 minutes, we're gonna do that. Um, and today's Tuesday, so any kind of product, customer breadcrumbing post, challenge group, transformation Tuesday post, go and see. And if you haven't done a post today, I challenge you to use this 10 minutes to get a post. Um, up and going. And like I said, it's Transformation Tuesday. It'd be a great time to invite to our new, if you have a new MBF test group coming out, if you have a new challenge group coming up, right? Invite people to that by showing them your transformation throughout. If you have questions, please, please, please come to the chat box, ask questions. And I want to know where you're sitting at. We're almost halfway through the month. Where are you sitting at and how many lives have you changed this month? For the next 10 minutes, we're rocking and rolling with this, guys.
Guys, make sure you're muted, please. All right, that's the timer. And what we're gonna do now, you guys, I think we're in the middle of the month and inviting in a very natural way. So I always thought, you know, I, I always had this fear of inviting people. I was like, oh gosh, what if they say no? What happens if um, they're doing something else? What happens if they don't wanna join? And for me, you guys, that's like the exciting part is inviting and if those people are on your page or those people are following you or those people are commenting and engaging in your post there's a reason that they're doing it and i think i had to finally just say look like it's not my job to tell them that they don't want to do something it's my job to give them the opportunity to come jump in with us and it's my job to give them the opportunity to come coach and it's their job to decide if now is the right time for them to be doing it. And so I always like to get my coaching invites out of the way first, just because I think that it could be something that scares a lot of people. But what's the worst somebody's going to say? Like, no, like I'm not interested right now or it's not the right time. Um, for me, 
Um, really, truly going out and finding my tribe right now is really important. I'm trying to hit a huge goal this year, and I don't just want somebody that's going to come in and do nothing. And so when I talk um, to people and I look for people, I truly am trying to find my business builders right now. And so if you have a list of people that could be on your dream team, or if you've been following up with people and you've been like creeping the market um, and creeping your page of people that might be good for you, go out there and, and invite them. Like what's the worst that somebody's going to say to you right now? Okay. And I invite in several different ways. I invite um, with my dream team list, someone who's commented or liked some of my coaching posts. Uh, I find a lot of my working coaches as challengers. They start off as discount coaches. I get them the results that they want and that they need and that they are thriving and they believe in what is possible with this business because they've seen it firsthand for themselves. So for the, for the next 10 minutes, um, if you guys want me to, I can go ahead and copy and paste these into the chat box. Um, change them up. The best way to change them up is literally just to go in and speak these into your phone. If you have the voice of voice to text, do that. You don't want it to be something that's going to be somebody else's words. Okay. So go in there. These are just scripts per se, but make them your own. And then, you know, if somebody's liking and engaging on your post, know that there's a reason. They might be scared to come talk to you about it, but know that there is a reason that they're liking, that they're commenting, that they're, you know, engaging in your stories. So for the next 10 minutes, we'll do this. Like I said, if you have questions, um, I also have a couple other scripts that I'm going to go ahead and throw in there. I need to find them really fast. Um, and then don't ever hesitate reaching out to your your challengers or your discount coaches, okay? Because right then and there, you guys, they're, it's the ones that are showing up in your challenge groups every single day, the ones that are commenting, posting, doing the actions of a coach that are hands down your, your biggest blessings. So make sure you're loving on them and make sure that you are reaching out to them. Ready, set, go.
All right, guys. Hopefully, how many, I would love to know how many invites you guys got um, out. Even if it was just one, I hope that you guys stepped outside of your comfort zone to get a, an actual coaching invite out. And um, we are going to move on next to um, inviting to our challenge groups. We have so many amazing things going on right now, right? We have the coach launch of MBF, which is awesome. Um, I'm actually not doing it until August um, 3rd with a huge group that I'm doing it with. So I'm super, super, super um, excited about that. And I'm actually doing a test group approach. And so um, everybody that is signing up, whether they're a discount coach or as a customer, they're going to be in a test group approach. And that is actually going into my first VOD group over um, because we had a few issues as far as <laughs> VOD groups went. So I'm launching my MBF test group per se in VOD groups, and we are going to start rocking it out July 27th. First and foremost, you need to have a date of when your group is starting. And if it's not your group, get with your coach, make sure they have a group starting that you can invite to. So these should not be hard, okay? If you've been doing, um, engaging and networking, and even if this is like your first time inviting, start with your warm market. I am five years into this business and I still have a warm market because I'm constantly connecting and I'm constantly, um, you know, just talking to people every single day. We are in a relationship building business, you guys, right? We are not salesy. We are not icky. We are here to help people actually change your lives every single day. So for the next 10 minutes, it's 1230. We're going to do, we're going to invite to challenge groups and I'll go ahead and I'll put these, um, in a, um, in the chat box, if you need something, you guys, to just kind of go off of. And then here we go. Look, this is actually what I've been using and I love it. Um, I can't remember whose power hour this was, but I love, love, love this. And I'm actually going to do this because I have a bunch of women that could, could use something fun and interactive. And it's a good way to go into the school year with everything that's going on right now. So for the next 10 minutes, this is what I want you guys to focus on inviting to your challenge group. Make sure it's a challenge group. You know, you can invite to your challenge group now or if you have a new one starting with MBF um, later on this month or early next month, invite to it. Because not only are you going to get possible coaches, right, that sign up to be the discount coach or a working coach, but July 27th, you're also looking at the customer side of it opening up and you have the opportunity to sign them up as a customer. So for the next 10 minutes, we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, Curtis and Beatrice Buck, um, you asked where the challenge groups are. Um, first time in this meeting, second week in a program. Your coach should be running a challenge group. You can reach out to them and ask them if there's a challenge group that's going to be coming up that, that you can invite them to. 
If not, I would set up a BOD group and start your own group. Um, but if this is your second week in a program, you should be plugged into a challenge group right now and your coach can help you with more information on when their next group is gonna start.
All right, guys, that is how many invites did you guys get out? That should have been a super easy invite. Um, we are going to go and I'm just kind of going through different things. We're going to actually go and add followers. I think that's the funnest part. It can be challenging. It can be frustrating. But here's the thing. If you're on Facebook, go to your friends, find friends of friends. And if there's more than three mutual friends between the two of you, chances are you probably know them or you've probably seen them around. So it should be very simple and easy. I do this at night a lot of the times when I am like just on Facebook, checking messages, looking at my comments, I'll go and it'll be like suggested friends. And then I'll go and I'll see if that person could be somebody that might be part of my tribe or might could, you know, could benefit from an invite for me. I'll just add them. And if they add me back, I go and I just say, Hey, thanks so much for adding me back as a friend. I noticed that we have a mutual friend and I love getting to know other moms in the community, or I, I love getting to know other women in the community. So that's super easy over on, um, over on Instagram, you guys go to big accounts that appeal to you. So for me, cat and Jack target, like I have two girls under the, I've got a seven year old and a five year old, Cat and Jack Target. So what I would do is I would go to that account and then I would go to one of the pictures and then look and see um, at the likes on the pictures. I click the likes and I go through and I find people that I can resonate with. Um, I typically don't follow private accounts just because I can't really see who they are. But if I find somebody that could be my niche, I'll go add them as a friend. Um, and then, um, that way, if they add me back, I can tell if they add me back, I pop into their DMS, welcome them to my page and ask if there's anything that I can help out with. So follow 10 to 15 new people are actively engaging on Instagram accounts. Okay. You want to make sure they're engaging because if they haven't engaged since 2015, chances of them engaging with you are probably slim to none. So respond to their stories. If there's somebody that's doing stories, slide up into their freaking stories and do some comment on their stories because it slides you over into their DMs. Okay. So 10 minutes here, it's 1243. And then we're going to kind of just end with, um, follow-ups. So there we go. You guys, um, if you have questions, just let me know. Okay.
All right, guys. Um, we only have about seven minutes, eight minutes left, and we've got a hard stop. Um, I want you guys to, A, I'm going to go ahead and um, stop share. I want you guys to be honest with yourselves when I ask you if you actually use a business activity tracker of any sort. Um, I'm five years into this business. I've really, truly tried everything and I've always come back to pen, like I'm a pencil and paper person. And as far as what we use in that business activity tracker, I still use it five years later. And it's so important that you have some place that you can track the people that you're reaching out to because right now, when I ask you to follow up with people for the next five minutes, you should be able to do that. And if you don't have the business activity tracker, I'm gonna go find it for you right now. And I'm gonna put it in here because we have our new updated business activity tracker that has the Shakeology um, back one. But I like the old one that actually has like the places where you can put your people down. So I'm old school. Um, I started my business in Saudi Arabia. That's where I um, kicked off coaching. And so I needed something that I could write down and carry with me everywhere so if you're not tracking your customers and your coach comes to you and says hey did you get 10 invites out today and you say yes and she's like well let me see your tracker you guys if you don't write down how do you really know that you invited that many people how do you really know that you followed up with that many people you call yourself out when you actually write it down and it's really useful in that way because I have it, you know, I've got all of mine from a year ago and I'll go back to a year ago and I will reach out to those people again. So I'm going to go and I'm going to challenge you for the next five minutes to follow up with anybody that you've invited over the past six months. Just send them a follow up. Hey girl, just wanted to touch base with you. We are rounding out the summer. How are you doing with your health and fitness journey? That's it. Doesn't have to be anything major, okay? And so I'm gonna go really fast and I'm gonna find for you guys. the. And if you guys don't know what GTS means, it means Google that beep, but you can literally type in business activity tracker, um, Beachbody and you can find it, it'll pull it up. You just go to the business activity tracker and um, guys, it's really like that easy. It doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to be painful. Um, you can type it in and it'll, it'll literally pull it up for you guys. So, and there's different fun ones that you can actually go and like find, but it doesn't have to be anything major or it's fancy, okay? Go print them off and use them. I'm just getting them to you guys. I'm trying to see if it's gonna open up for me. Oh, where is it? Looks like it's opening up. So for the next five minutes, go ahead and um, do that. And then if you don't know what it is, I'm gonna put a, a little video in from Melanie Metro in the the um, chat section for you guys on how to actually use your business activity tracker, okay? Because it's something that every person should be using. Let me go find my, I'm just trying to download this for you guys and I'm hoping that this is helpful. I hope that this power hour has been helpful coming from somebody that's not you know i'm not a 15 star diamond yet i'm not anywhere close to that but i'm in the trenches with you guys and i think that's where um sometimes it's easier to let me see if i can go i have my tracker so i'm gonna go see really fast if i can upload a file there we go uh, microsoft on my computer let me go find it for you guys um, let's see, we've got three minutes left.
Okay. Hopefully you guys can see that. That's the old tracker. And speaking of, I'll probably print some more out. And listen, it's better if it's not finished, but done so you can see and track your progress every day than being done completely, fully every single day, okay? So um, you guys grab that if you can. If you can get on um, your camera, do it. I'm giving you guys this chance so you can get your picture. I know that's really spectacular and something that I like to do and put in my stories pouring into our cups every day. So um, you guys make sure you get your pictures if you can. And I hope you guys enjoyed this power hour. And um, I'm gonna take my picture. And if it's something that um, I will, it's recorded. And so I will get this to Lori and she can post it in the group. And I, if you guys need to find me over on Instagram, ask questions, I'm totally down for it. I am Heather Harrison is my tag, my Instagram handle. It's nothing special or fancy. Um, make sure you always have something that's that people can actually find you, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead, I know we have, yes, I will come back again. And like I said, I actually do my own power hours once a week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And thank you guys for letting me jump on and rock this out with you guys. Y'all have a wonderful day, bye.